The Sunrise Interview is sponsored by Elk Valley Casino, Crescent City. Welcome back. Now, there's a pretty significant birthday party happening this weekend. The city of Ashland is turning 150. To celebrate, Epic Ashland is throwing a family-friendly free event on Sunday, and everyone's invited. Joining us this morning to tell us more are Epic Ashland director, Matthew Bernard, and the event's MC and local artist, Micah Blacklight. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Of course. Now, um, Matthew, I'll, I'll start with you. What can people expect to find at this event on Sunday? Um, we've got a big event planned. The mayor reached out to us and asked us uh, to put something together. Um, and we've uh, found a musical artist and some other local um, performers and artists to come and kind of celebrate with us. Micah's got some of the details if you want to walk through it. There's, there's going to be a beer garden. We're going to have mocktails. There's going to be, as, as you already mentioned, it's already free because we want to make sure everyone can come. We want to open it to families. We want to open it up to youth. We want to open it up to all ages. Um, Madeline Hawthorne is going to be our lead act, headlining, soulful voice, a mix of like country, soul, rock. She's got like all the things that are delightful and there's treats for the first like everyone who gets there. So there's going to be chocolate treats and uh, it's going to be delightful, delicious and wonderful. Really fun, really nice community event. Like you said, everyone is welcome to come. Mm -hmm. Micah, how would you describe your art to someone who's not familiar with your, with your sound? Lovely question. So um, generally speaking, I'm a visual artist plus an MC, so I like to incorporate imagination into my everything. So there's gonna be, um, whenever you're seeing my art, a lot of times there's power, there's mermaids, there's fantastic beings, but a lot of it is around depicting people in ways that give them make their imagination soar because i feel like we're not complete without our imaginations and so it adds a lot to us to to bring ex extra elements fantastical elements wonderful elements absolutely what, a, what an experience yes. <laughs> and matthew for yes. those that are unfamiliar what can you tell us about epic ashland yeah um epic ashland's a relatively new group uh started by myself and several other business owners in town uh, we all grew up or spent a lot of time in Ashland and kind of found ourselves sitting around going, you know, this place is great, but it doesn't really feel like it has embraced the things that we love about Ashland. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Micah was speaking about sort of inclusion and, you know, creating art that like draws in everyone. And there's some great things in Ashland, but man, things like the trails that we have, the musical artists that we have, mm -hmm. um, and some of the local artists just didn't feel well represented. So Epic Ashland was brought together to create events and um, community building around some of those things that are less well represented by sort of the traditional Ashland promoters. Mm -hmm. I'll open this question up to both of you. Mm. What is your favorite thing about Ashland? Because it's, it's always nice to say something about the one having the birthday here. So uh, what are you guys' favorite things about the city? Go ahead, Mike. One of my favorite things about Ashland is the juxtaposition between city and nature. Within five minutes, 10 minutes tops, I can be an, on a trail somewhere. I can be taking a hike. I can be surrounded by trees. I can have views that are spectacular. And at the same time, if I want, I can go downtown. I can be surrounded by people. I can look at the shops. I can visit. So like, that's one of my favorite things about Ashland. It just feels really good in terms of the mix. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Yes. Yeah, what about you, Matthew? I would have said something very similar, which is variety. Um, there's just so many things that you can do around uh, Ashland and the greater valley. Uh, my family and I just spent a year living abroad and we could not find somewhere to move and uh, live that just had so many things on offer from the outdoor activities to the wine to the food um, and the, the art. There's just everything is right here and it's of such high quality. It's um, fun to be able to embrace all of the different things that we have here, not just a few of them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And 150 years old. That's so crazy to that's think about. Huge. Yes, you for know? massive. Yeah. She doesn't look a day over 100. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of the actually something spectacular about this particular event and and me and seeing it, something that I felt was like deeply important, is the fact that 150 years ago I wouldn't have been the host, right? Mm. Uh, 50 years ago I couldn't have been the I couldn't have been the MC of this event because of the color of my skin, right? And so one of the things that we're celebrating around Ashland and around this 150 year anniversary is how far we've come and how, how inclusive we can be and how powerful sharing what we have and, and the arts and the energy and the vibe can be. And, and we wanna just attract more people to, to recognize that like this is a, a changing town, this is a growing town, and we do have more voices than just the ones that they may be most familiar with. So yeah. it's a celebration of all of that. 
Yeah, it's, it's nice to hear different voices and diversity, inclusivity is such a huge part of what makes Ashland, Ashland. Mm -hmm. So um, it sounds like a really exciting event. Uh, Micah, Matthew, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank Thanks you so much for having us. Of course. Now, as they said, Ashland's 150th birthday celebration kicks off this Sunday at 2 p.m. at the Lithia Park Band Shell. You can enjoy live music and entertainment as well as food trucks and a beer garden. Local soft rock band Left is opening for soulful folk artist Madeline Hawthorne, and you'll also get a chance to sign Ashland's community birthday card. There will be plenty of music, food, and fun for the whole family. And for more information about the event, head to epicashland.com. Once again, guys, thank you so much for being on the show this morning. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Of course, and happy birthday, Ashland. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Ashland. We'll be right back.